Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing another fashion haul, but this time it's with a company I've never actually bought from before, and that is Nasty Girl. I've heard some quite good things from Nasty Girl. A couple of mixed reviews saying that the quality of clothing doesn't really run the same throughout, so I thought I'd pick up some pieces and see what my thoughts are really. So if you do want to carry on watching this video, then stay here and let's get on into the video. But before we jump into this video, I do have an announcement for you all. So I have actually reached 311 subscribers on my channel, which is absolutely bonkers. I didn't even think I'd get anywhere near that when I first started. So to say a little thank you, I am hosting a big giveaway. So the things I've got to give away are all sort of personal to me. I haven't sort of bought random bits and bobs. I sort of collected them over a few months just so I've got like a nice array of different things that I love and I know that everyone else will love too. So the first part of the giveaway, I have a Beauty Bay EYN palette and this is their bright colour palette. I have actually been using this on the weekend, not this actual one, but I have bought one for myself as well just because it was so, so nice. Let me crack it open and show you what it looks like. It's just a nice blue metallic on the front and the back. You can see it's actually quite big, it has got 42 colours inside. I wanted a palette that you could just be creative with here is the inside as you can see it's very colourful it has got the film on top so obviously it's brand new and it's got your pink, your purple, your greens, your blues everything you ever need to create a party look, a festival look it's just a staple palette I think everybody needs in their collection and I'd also use it for Leeds Festival colours were just so pigmented I absolutely loved it all of you a lovely lot will be in the chance of winning this palette but that is not the only thing that is in my giveaway. NYX Translucent Powder. This is just like my everyday go-to powder. Dead compact, you can put it in your bag. And mine has lasted me for months. I just think someone else needs to experience how good it actually is. I don't think it has enough credit. So you're going to be getting this. You'll also be getting a NYX Butter Gloss. This shade is in Fortune Cookie and it's so nice. It's quite a clear peachy shade on your lips. I have also got this too. Really like it. And this giveaway wouldn't be a giveaway if it wasn't for my all-time favourite product that I always mention all the time on most of my videos. And you probably guessed it. It is the Bondi Sands Dark Fake Tan. It's the love of my life. It's just so good, I absolutely love it. If you're out there and you only really use medium tan, trust me, it doesn't go really dark, but it just gives you like a really nice glow, like nice and summery. I have got it on now, but I have actually got ultra dark on, but this is my second day of wearing it, so you can see it's not actually that dark. I think it just depends on how well it takes to your skin. Got your Bondi Sands, Nick Translucent Powder, Next, a butter gloss lip gloss and you've got a 42 colour palette from Beauty Bay. So all you need to do to enter this giveaway is subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me on my Instagram account which is at Isabel underscore Slater and you'll be entered in a chance of winning this. I will be announcing my giveaway when I do reach 600 subscribers. So make sure you share this video, give it a thumbs up if you like the video anyway. Yeah, let's just get into the video. Let's go. So the first item I pulled out my bag is a dress. I got this in a size 14. I can't really remember what anything looked like in this order because I did do it last week and because I got quite a forgetful brain, I just really don't know what we're gonna get from this. So it's quite a nice surprise, really. Here is what the front looks like. It is a V-neck. I don't usually go for V-necks. So I don't really think it suits me, but we'll see today. It's got short, quite flowy sleeves. It is singed on the waist, which is quite nice. By the looks of it, it's very short. Fabric isn't really the softest of all fabrics. It's quite rough. I just don't really know what I make of it. You can't tell on camera how short it actually is, but I am five foot six, and I'm guessing this is probably meant for about a five foot four, five foot three person. It definitely is going to be interesting when I try this on to see how much it rides up. So let's just go and find out together. This dress is not good. This doesn't even tie up properly. Way too short. Look at the back. 
literally just underlining my bum. This is a massive thumbs down. The second item we have is another, I think it's another dress and it says Sweet Wild of Mine Ruffle Maxi Dress and this is in a size 14. It's got a long tie here so you can tie it obviously maybe under your bust and it's got a very wide neckline so I'm guessing it's going to be under covering, not under covering, it's going to be like you know open on the top half so you need to make sure you've got a good bra on for that because we don't want anything spilling out. On the sleeves, it hasn't really got sleeves but it's just got like a frill detailing on your shoulder which would look quite fancy. It does feel quite rough again but I'm guessing that's the sort of style all these dresses have. Oh actually, I've just discovered it's a wrap dress. Because I was thinking, bloody hell, like, you tie that up there and then this little slit here is just going to be uncovering everything. But it's a wrap dress so I don't think we'll be undercovering anything. Why do I keep on saying undercovering? It's not undercovering, I don't think it'll be revealing anything. We'll go and try this on, see what we think. Yeah, that's it, let's go and see if it's a yay or a nay. I think I managed to figure it out. The waist bit always really confuses me. I like the little frills on the shoulders and obviously you can tie it as tight as you want on the waist. But no, I just absolutely love it. I think it's absolutely gorgeous but I just don't know if it's a bit of me. I think it might be quite a grown up dress. I think I probably will send it back. It's just nice to be in a long dress for a change. I definitely do like the style of it. So I would say it's a thumbs up, but I think I will send this one back. The third item we have got is a Life in Watercolour tie-dye romper. I don't often wear play seats just because I've got elephant thighs, so everything sort of just sticks to me, and especially the like start chafing during summer. It isn't very nice, is it? Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Right, okay, so it's a bar at top, but it's elasticated. Then I got really confused then because I was like, isn't why has it got sleeves on? Because in the picture it didn't have sleeves on it. Well they're not sleeves at all, it's just so you can basically tie it up on the back. On the waist it is singed and it has also got tie-ups and then it's just shorts on the bottom. I do normally size up in jumpsuits and play suits just because Everything clings to your legs a lot more if you size down. So yeah. Oh no, we got this in a size 14. Um, this is, might be interesting because, like I say, I always size up. So yeah, we'll see how this one goes. But let's just go and try it on. This will also be setting a send back. I didn't realise, but this bit has like straps up here. I will say it does have pockets on it, so it isn't actually too bad. I do like pockets. Obviously, elasticated waist is nice. It is a nice colour, but this will be getting sent back too. Fourth item is a co-ord outfit. Like a loungewear comfy set. I don't actually own any co-ords, but they just look so nice. And especially like when you see them on people when they're at the airport and they're going on a nice plane journey. I just think they look so comfortable. And they feel so soft. Oh, they feel gorgeous. Okay, let's start off the bottoms. So the bottoms, I've got a good elasticated waist and we know how much I love an elasticated waist. And it is also a flared leg. I don't actually own any flared trousers. I mainly just wear collars, really. So that is the bottoms. The top, a nice little one. So hopefully this will cover my boobs. I think it's got a bit of stretch in it, so hopefully they'll go over them because I'm not all about under, under boob like lifestyle that everyone seems to be going for at the moment I do like to cover myself up and then it's just got long sleeves but obviously when you put this on you put your arms down there so it's sort of like off your shoulder so let's go and try this on okay so I don't particularly like this one a because I do not like the sleeves at all they keep on falling down and I'm just not really about that sleeve life B you can't wear a bra with this so that's even greater so I've even got like under boob going on right here it is quite see-through and one thing that i didn't realize is that it's got slits up the legs and it's very nice actually i do feel very free-flowing but i think i'd have to repurchase again when i've reached my goal weight but for the moment i just don't think it suits me at all so this will be sent back it's a thumbs down fifth item is a linen button front bardic dress and this is in a size 14. oh cute the shoulder it's got a gorgeous frill you know how much I love my frill and then it's just got really nice buttons at the front 
just no sleeves or anything just a straight like a straight down dress it does look really cute the only thing i'd worry about if you wore this on holiday you'd get really hot because it's quite thick material because it's linen so let's go and try it on this is actually a really cute dress the only thing with it, because it's been quite straight down, you can't really see like any curves or anything. So it'd be nice if it was sort of like cinched at the waist and then went out. I do really like the top of it. I think it's really nice. And then it's not too short either. It's just below the bum. But it is a very, very cute dress. And especially in the evening, it'll be really good because obviously it is quite a thick material. I've just shoved up my hair today, but I think it'd look nicer with the hair shoved up because then you have your collarbones on display and it just look dead nice. Thumbs up for me, absolutely love it. For some reason, I haven't really been wearing my bodysuits really at the moment, but I saw this one in the sale and I thought it just looked really nice. I haven't got one this colour either. It means if I've got my jeans or I'm like wearing a sort of different skirt or anything, then this one would really match with anything. So this is just a ribbed plunge bodysuit and it's in the colour stone and it's in a size 14. You can easily keep it for winter and it's not just like a summer bodysuit that you can sort of like chuck away sort of thing. It's just a round neck. I do really like this peach colour. Got really nice long sleeves. I wouldn't say it's thick, I'd say it's sort of like an in-between one, but I wouldn't say it will see through either. So I think you could maybe get away with a black bra, but we'll test it out when we try it on because you never know. And then I always like to judge the bottom of it. It is like a plastic do-ups, but hopefully it won't scratch because I hate it when you're walking around and they're scratching you, which isn't always the nicest. Let's go and try it on. This is as far as I've got from my leotard. I can't even do the bottom up because it is that tight. I can't barely breathe in it. And obviously you can't even wear a bra either. So this is a massive thumbs down from me. And the final thing I got from this haul is a new pair of trousers. Because I seem to be losing weight quite rapidly at the moment, I'm having to literally sell all my trousers because they just don't cling to my waist anymore. And it's not like the trousers where you can put a belt around them either because I don't really wear belts. So I just haven't sort of like get rid of them. But I saw these on the Nafta Girl website and I just like fell in love with them. So these are the elastic waist cargo pan in beige. And I did get these in a size 14. I thought they just looked so good. Oh wow. Oh damn, look how small this waist is. I know it is elastication, but this might like really dig into my waist. This is a bit small. Here is what the colour is. It's like a really nice stone, really like a light mint colour. It has got detailed pockets on the side of the pant. Best of all, it's got elastication on your ankles. I hate wearing pants that don't have any elastication or like skinny jeans that aren't skinny and just sort of flare out at the bottom. I just find it so uncomfortable, especially if it's raining, they're gonna get damp in the puddles first. So I always stay with something that's elasticated and always like, like, tight on my ankles. Look, it's like not even as nearly as wide as my face. That is absolutely bonkers. So we're definitely gonna have to um, maybe try and squeeze into these. Let's go and try them on. That's all I need to say. So there we go, that is the end of my Nafta Girl haul. If you did like this video, make sure you smash a thumbs up. And obviously, if you do want to be entered into this giveaway, make sure you subscribe down below to my channel and follow me on my Instagram at Isabel underscore Slater. All the giveaway information will be down in the description box. So if you do forget, you can always go back down there and it will like, sort of like, tell you what you need to do, how to enter it, so on and so on. So I shall see you next week for a brand new video. In a bizzle.